What's up everybody? So Kathleen Zellner has tweeted about Andrew Colburn and Ken Kratz. I absolutely love when she tweets about Ken Kratz. It doesn't happen as much anymore, but when she does, she always destroys him. Now, just over a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, Andrew Colburn's lawsuit against Netflix and the creators of Making a Murderer was tossed out of court. He was suing Netflix and the creators of Making a Murderer for defamation of character, but the judge said there is no defamation of character in Making a Murderer. Since then, Kathleen Zellner has tweeted a couple of times. Her most recent one about Andrew Colburn was, and I'll put them all up on the screen for you, she states that, ironic that Andrew Colburn sues for defamation and as a result ends up damaging his reputation even further. Then she tweets about Ken Kratz. Ken Kratz needs to brush up on the judge's opinion. Netflix and the creators of Making a Murderer have been vindicated. There was no distortion or falsification in the series. And then she posts this. Uh, I have read Ken Kratz's book, did a whole video series on it, uh, and I think this is a quote from his book, if I remember correctly. Making a murderer fooled millions of Netflix subscribers into thinking Wisconsin law enforcement officers planted physical evidence, leading to an innocent man's conviction for a murder he never committed. Since that time, attacks against police and prosecutors have become more egregious and with such frequency as to cause a dramatic shift in public perception with predictable tragic consequences. Efforts to defund the police, reform criminal justice procedures, and skew the public safety narrative towards the accused have thrown many historical law-abiding communities into chaos, making a murderer bears much of the responsibility for this outcome. He adds, it's time for the public to see just how making a murderer fabricated events and courtroom testimony, all for the purpose of entertainment. Hopefully those justice professionals who have lost their reputation and careers, like me, as a direct result of this deception and defamatory TV, will be vindicated. Now, the judge absolutely, 100% disagrees with everything Ken Kratz says there, obviously, because she dismissed the lawsuit that Andrew Colburn brought against Netflix and the creators of Making a Murderer for defamation. All right, that's Kathleen Zellner's newest tweets. I like to bring those to you because I know everyone that follows this channel doesn't have Twitter or doesn't use Twitter as much, and uh, she often tweets about the case. She often tweets about Stephen Avery and sometimes even Brendan Dassey, and like I said, I absolutely love when she tears into Ken Kratz. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you again soon.